I didn't want to come out with a video today and I I don't want to ramble too much because I think I found my point. And my point is developing a language and a routine and a habit system so that you can, not you, so that I can be motivated and be regenerated. It's kind of like the idea when people buy like new homes and new cars and it's like you didn't think that you could achieve something and then you get it and then it's kind of like after three years kicks in, it's dusty and it's old to you. And it makes you forget that good things can happen to you. I was going to start off by saying that I know that I can change. I know that I have been changed in the past. And I know that change is possible. But it's so funny when you're going from change to change. And when the hard season does kick into your life, it seems hard, like unbearable. This is not the hardest thing that I have ever been through. It's not even that dramatic to me. Um, it, it's almost petty to me what's going on with me right now. You know, you will have trials and tribulations from different areas that are not even important to you. And I want to make sure that I'm making logical sense because, you know, I omit a lot of things for the sake of time and for the sake of privacy. But I will say this. It is very important for you to have a vision for your life. Some people say to find out the why behind that vision as well. Like, why did you want that house? Why did you want that car? Why did you want that job? Always remember the why. And then once you get it, remember how you felt when you first obtained it. And I always know that when you do achieve something that it does come with a responsibility. And that's why sometimes that receiving like a miracle house or a dream car is not so much of a miracle or a dream after four years if you didn't come into it with the mentality that it's going to be responsibility and maintenance to upkeep it. So that keeps you grounded as an adult. And I'm going to make these videos again this month to kind of help me stay on track and kind of help me to remain motivated and to just see myself in a different light because sometimes you can be in a place an absolute place it's not even you externally that tries to bring out the worst in you that feeds off of negativity that no matter what you do it is never right and I can tell you that I'm in that place right now it doesn't matter what I say or what I do how I smile if I don't smile it is a problem and it's not fabricated it is not any of that it is true it is real and it is what it is like I'm not gonna base my life on that because I am a mature person who understands the vision that I have for my life my vision may not be the next person the next person's vision and just like the whole idea of ulterior motives and hidden agendas I would challenge everybody to check their own when you are speaking to someone when you are coming up to them what is your intention last night me and one of my friends we got into a debate and I didn't want to be in the debate this person loves to debate politics like that's just a thing I'm not into it you know and I was just like when you're doing this what's your motivation behind this are you trying to get converts are you trying to change people's minds are you trying to prove yourself that you're right and and, and, and I could never get to the person's true intentions all I know is that they had a belief system that was different from mine and they couldn't they were angry about it you know, and that goes to a lot of different places, especially, and I'll bring it up, especially at work. You go to work and people have a belief system. They're trying to get the most out of you, the most out of you. And unfortunately, in this economy, for as little as they can, you know, put into you, like it's kind of rare now. Like back in the day, people used to, um, a lot of people used to get jobs and they used to advance on the job. Now things are changing where people to advance, they change companies. That's just, uh, the majority, yes, you do have some people who move up within the company, but the majority of people leave to get advancement. It's not that same sense of uh, loyalty or the same sense of commitment, dedication. It's like we don't wait until things get old and, and maintain it. And even if you are in the maintenance mindset, then you are now weird to people because people feel like, man, that's not working out. Just move on from it. Sell that car. Sell that house. Get something new. Get something that makes you excited. Get that happiness back in your life. And people think that the happiness comes from the excitement of the newness. And I do understand that but I'm a kind of person who has got to rock steady um, last Wednesday the sermon was all about swaying you know you can be planted but you might still sway you uh, you might still rock in the breeze you might still have some dust that you need to take off of your baseboards in your house to get a little bit more satisfaction of it don't and this is just me don't sell the house when all you need to do is clean up and, and try to think of a project that you could do in your kitchen but the main thing is having a vision for yourself. What is your vision? Why is it important to you? 
what gravitated you towards it is going to keep you motivated towards enjoying it. So I hope that made sense to someone. Thank you girls so much for watching. I'm going to continue to make these because it helps me to clear my head in the morning. It's almost a form of journaling, which I want to get back into. I want to do 15 minutes in the morning within myself, quiet time of, of reading.